welcome to Little Workroom Crafts. My name is Davina and I live in the southeast coast of the UK. Today is Monday the 12th of October 2020 and it is episode number 35. I can't believe how quick these episodes are Woo, growing. <laughs> right then, what a week. I have got so much to show you. I don't know what's happened to me within the last seven days, but my gosh, I've been busy. <laughs> And this is just the stuff I'm going to show you. It's not without this other stuff that I've been doing, you know, in the background for other bits and pieces as well. So, wow, that's all I can say. If I have to quickly stop, I will say, where is it? I've got my little doorbell up here. I'm expecting some posts and I've been expecting some posts since Saturday. But I haven't seen a postman up this end since Friday. <laughs> so... Oh dear me. So yeah. Oh fingers crossed, fingers crossed, it will come. If if my bits come, then I will obviously stop, pause, open, and then show. <laughs> but there we go. Okay then, right. So oh I will say where you can find me, I am going to put down in the description box below. Okay, so today we have a little piece of patchwork and quilting on the machine. I thoroughly enjoyed doing this piece, I really did. We've got some knitting, um, a finished and in progress, and some cross stitch. I have a finish and I would have a star if some of the stuff had come today. <laughs> and um, yeah, and oh yes, I went down to our local Well Worth a Pound this morning and I got some bits that, to go with the finishes for my cross stitches. So I'm going to show you that as well okay then right so let's get right into it we'll do the patchwork and quilting first now i love laurie holtz she's a fantastic patchwork and quilt designer she also designs cross stitch um charts and stuff i've got one of her patterns that i'm, I'm itching to get done and she also does crochet as well she does crochet patterns and stuff but online on her youtube channel definitely hop over it's just laurie holt what i'll do i'll put that actually on the screen for you and i have written this down at the moment she is doing what's called sew your stash series so every week i think it is she puts a block up where you can use up all your stash well last week which is hashtag number five i think it was last week or the week before she put up a pumpkin quilt block wow she's brought up two in the same um episode show you how to make it basically there's the fat one or you turn the block around and do the thin one and what she's done you really really got to go over and have a look it's brilliant and up on her design wall she's got where she's put um a fat quilt a fat pumpkin a thin pumpkin a fat, and then it's made a whole quilt so and it's just all out of scraps that's the beauty of it so I am really, really itching. I'd love to make a quilt now <laughs> for my bed ready for next autumn. Oh, I just think that'd be so cool. You know, Ben won't know until it's finished. <laughs> That's all I can say. But look, I made a little block because on the outside of my door, I like to have um, a little block uh, to represent the seasons hung up. It's like um, nearer Christmas to say November. So, ooh, dear, it's next month, isn't it? Oh, um, <laughs> middle of next month then I will have some um, little robins that I, I appliqued a few years ago and then I have one um, which is the flower basket you know for the spring and all that so but this one I didn't have anything for autumn but as soon as I see this come up on Laurie's um, uh, YouTube channel I just had to make it and the whole of this little block was out of scraps and I just absolutely love it that's the backing but um, even me, um, me binding, that matches and that matches, but here and here matches. So it's kind of, you know, and it's the, she does show you actually on the tutorial, she gives you all the measurements and she gives you the measurements for doing the, the nine patch. Uh, well, no, it isn't, is it? Six patch one or um, just a plain. You can do a plain orange in the middle or and so and the other one she, she did is a tall one. So she used this bit. And then put the, the um, brown bit, I can't remember what it's called, um, on there. 
and and then she gives you all the measurements to change them both to the same size but it's well worth hopping over and having a look at what she's done so far she's done some beautiful blocks but i'm so chuffed with my pumpkin i really really am i love my pumpkin i really really do so i'm saying it's on the door at the top of the um uh um on the outside so when you go up to the top of the stairs you see my pumpkin <laughs> absolutely love it so please hop over and see laurie hole she is amazing okay then so next we have the knitting as you have probably noticed i have finished her the breathing space is done i am so chuffed fits amazing i actually had two skeins of the main color left over so i'm going to be doing i don't know whether you do socks or actually make a shawl with it yet i haven't decided but uh, all this is obviously scrap it was just scrap yarn that i had left over this pink that follows down to the sleeves obviously i've got some of that left over which is the strawberry fields forever from um my lovely friend ellie at craft house magic and this is what i have left over and the actual main color <coughs> is a cascade yarn heritage 75 25 and it is color 5744 and i actually got this from wool warehouse but i will say the pattern is i've got it all out already <laughs> the pattern is the yeah there's no there's nothing it's the breathing space by um vera valamaki beautiful pattern to follow i will say i thoroughly enjoyed knitting it um i'm glad it's off the needles now so on the needles i haven't got a lot so i'm gonna cast on a pair of socks i think but so it goes it's got a bad up here <laughs> so you've got your angle and it's shorter here and then obviously i've got my back with all the rainbow and that there and then it's longer this side as i say i can't wait to wear it it's going to be nice and cosy and i'm hoping um if the work because it's a little i don't know it's like in between today but if it's supposed to get cooler so if it is going to be um cooler then i will um definitely hopefully have it on next week and see if glenn can take some photographs um for you um but the thing is as well i followed the sleeves to the pattern and by the looking on the lady that's wearing it they come three quarter but on me they come right down to where they should do so i was happy with that <laughs> really happy with that but um yeah i love it i absolutely love it i can see me getting so much wear out of this yeah really really pleased with that so as i say brilliant pattern a lot of fun um i loved all this here to get you all the shape in here um is which is um you know thingy and wraps what's the names and yeah it absolutely brilliant really really enjoyed it okay so the other knitting i'm going to show you the progress of my shawl so i can't show you that bit <laughs> oh noisy noisy this is helen stewart i thought i'd just done this and got this already silly woman right there we go helen stewart curious handmade this is the bide shawl which is from the collection from where is it uh from knit vent 2019 so it's last year's knit, um, knit vent which is the pattern collection you can buy on ravelry which has the um oh that blanket that everybody likes doing oh, cost me mind <laughs> oh well anyway i've done one it's downstairs so anyway but the, these patterns were lovingly gifted to me from my um, lovely friend Teresa. hi Teresa and i'm really really enjoying this this is done actually in a chunk yarn this shawl and i am doing it in a stylecraft special chunky in the color parchment which was lovingly gifted to me from my two lovely friends um susan and judith hi and i am enjoying this so much as you can see i can't put it down i've done quite a bit of the lace work now but um yeah i am just really really enjoying this i really am i'm actually halfway through 50 because that's the the lovely thing with um helen's patterns you know exactly where you are 
so there's my two bits of lace work at the moment and then I think I've got to do some more straight I think I've got one more lace because I'm doing the large so it's one more lace and then I think it's garter around the outside I think but oh I'm just loving it it's just going to be so nice and cozy I think because it is a thick one I've not actually never done a thick one like this before shawl so it'll be nice when i'm sat here in the evenings and i can actually wrap it around with doing the big one as well as wearing it around my neck when i go out so yeah absolutely love it and this is being housed in my bag that my lovely friend jane has made me and sent to me that's absolutely brilliant so yes i am really really enjoying that so really i've got that shawl on the needles now you're finished that's all i've got yeah it is so and i have obviously my crocheted mandala i have had an email to say that my um pumpkin um hook and needle minder and stitch markers are all um dispatched so you never know they might turn up today it's like always everything turns up either when i just finished uploading <laughs> so i don't know i don't know it's just my luck i think um so yeah so i've got uh that on the needles and then as soon as the pumpkin collection come i'm going to get, get onto my mandala because i want to use my new hook and my new stitch markers i'm going to cast on a pair of socks so i've got it all planned all planned <laughs> right then so that is the patchwork and quilting and the knitting right now the cross stitch oh I have actually finished, <laughs> so it's been a week of finishes, it really has. I finished my Patchwork Crow by Heart and Hand Needle Art. I did buy the, the three that are out at the moment. This was this year's one and I absolutely love it. I really do. So it's just FO'd, it's not FFO'd yet. I'm still thinking of that. I'm hoping to get that bit done ready for next week. And as you can see, I've got my little, because this one comes with three little buttons and i absolutely love it i did do some changes i will say now last week i did mention i think it was last week or the week before i did mention about the orange even though this is the called for i just thought this round these flowers were a bit bright and i weren't going i was going to unpick this one i think i did all this one or this one first one of them anyway and i thought i don't know you know it needs something anyway it could be just the fact that it's um you know the cloth i've used you know you never know um because this actually was coffee and tea dyed by myself as well the cloth so what i have actually done is let me see right on this side there is a flower there and here there is a flower there now, I thought with the orange being so in your face, I didn't do those. So, what I did is I reversed that, that way. <laughs> and just had the flowers down there with the pumpkins. I didn't put the bird on his back, which is there, because I really, I don't know why, I just didn't seem to like the bird on the back. And also at the top, on here let's have a look where it is there there is another flower but on mine yet again i have just reversed and popped some leaves in so it looks more like a scroll and i am happy with the way it turned out and it does actually say share your harvest to give meaning to life and peace to your heart so yeah i i have thoroughly enjoyed stitching this i really have so hopefully it'll be FFO'd next week, fingers crossed, because I have to sit and think about what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> so, yeah. Then on Thursday, I knew that the new Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher uh, magazine was being released in the UK. So as you all know, I get mine from the Patchwork Rabbit. They are, I've been dealing with the Patchwork Rabbit for oh, a good two to three years now and they're brilliant every time you buy something from them you get um like points and most of the time you can you know rack them up and you can either pay for your postage it covers your postage cost or, or i've had a pattern that it covers it you know so it's really really good so i thought right well beans i'm getting the magazine 
and now I've got to cast on my second um, heart and hand, which is the Christmas one. Woo! So I thought, oh, well, you know, I'll pop some bits in. And then all of a sudden I thought to myself, I've never actually stitched with um, over dyed threads before. I know I've got, you know, three plus boxes of the DMCs and so on. But I thought, well, you know, I think I'm going to treat myself. So the actual pattern. Oh, let me get it. Is the patchwork deer. And they do give you all the classic colour works and the week's dye works as well as the DMC. And I thought, right, I'm going to do this. So I ordered what they had from the Patchwork Rabbit, which is uh, the classic colour works. And I got the rose petal. Uh, I got the cherry tomato. And I also got the black coffee, which is needed. And the other ones I ordered from, oh no, another company I deal with, which are also, you know, the same. They do, um, you know, a point system that you can um, build up and so on. Oh, what are they called? I'll put it down. I'll, I'll put it on the screen because I can't remember. Oh dear. And that's what I'm waiting on. The other threads, you see. <laughs> It is so frustrating. I ordered these ones from the Patchwork Rabbit. I ordered them both on the same day from both companies. And I ordered this on the Thursday. No, not this. I ordered these on the Thursday with the magazine and something else. And it came Friday. But I'm still... And I know they've all been dispatched from the other company. So I'm really itching to get started. So I do... Because I watch a lot of Flosh Tube. I do know that... They say with over dyed that you do a stitch at a time, which gives you a better um, way that the threads go with the colours or something. So I'll be doing that. I'll be doing a stitch at a time rather than rows. So that'll be interesting. And then I thought, well, you know, I love doing this. I absolutely love it. So every time I actually put an order in with these or the other company that I can't remember, um, I will. Um, I'm going to pop in on top just a couple of threads and start collecting them and then i'm going to write in a little notebook that i'll have near me in, in my cross stitching bits of all the colors that i've collected from the classic color works or from the week's dye works and i'm actually going to start um start using these i really you can actually see on the the rose petal where they go dark and light you know where it's over dyed and i just can't wait and i'm just waiting on the uh, yeah because the colors i really need for the center i think think is the actual deer itself not these ones <laughs> and it would be wouldn't it you know it just would be mind you i don't know if that's the coffee oh, i don't know but i really wanted to have all the threads together so i could start it all together so um yeah so i'm really looking forward to that so that is my next cast on as soon as i get my other threads and i'm going to stitch it on yesterday i came up here and i Got my cloth and everything ready and I say everything kitted up apart from the new threads. And I'm actually stitching it on this piece of green with all the stars on. And I, because my frame was um, bigger than the, th um, the actual piece of cloth, all I did like I did with my, um, uh, what they call, through the seasons. Um, I just bought a piece of calico around the outside and then it fits in here nicely. Now, yet again, the actual patterns are, they say, to be done on a 16 count or a 32. <laughs> I think they're brains, um, depending on what cloth you use. I like 14. I do like 14 count. So mine is um, bigger than the actual pattern. But, you know, what I mean, I like that anyway. So my D is going to be bigger, but it does fit on here. I've done the maths and just like I um, was a couple of weeks ago when I said about um, that calculator, cross stitch calculator that I use. So I've done all that through the calculator. So I know that the stitch length and width, height and width uh, will fit in here just fine. And yeah, I just can't wait to get started. I have just got to wait until the other threads arrive. Also, because I've been looking, eyeing this up for ages with the pack patchwork rabbit because they do do cloth as well and this was really really reasonable uh where is it uh here it is right i actually got a 14 count what's called lamb's wool 
and it's just the colour. Well, it's not actually lamb's wool, it's an Ada. And um, oh, can I put this again so you can see it? <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. See, it's the colour. And this piece here, which is a nice size piece, I will say, it was only pound ninety, which I thought was really, really good. So, yeah, I, I've got to work out the maths to see if the stitches will work, but I, that actually would work, probably work perfect for the Laurie Holtz pattern I've got. I have also, because I've been waiting to start my reindeer, I have, at, yesterday I had my big piece out and I've nearly finished the truck on that, so I'm really excited about that. Also, which was what I was talking about right at the beginning, <laughs> I got the new primitive needle and no punch needle and primitive stitch yarn <laughs> so i'm reading it backwards oh my word this is the autumn issue oh oh my gosh look at the look look at that that is so cool that one that's um stitching with the housewives um this one is beautiful i love that one and there is an, a piece in here again from varna uh, where is she the twisted stitcher and she shows you step by step in pictures how to put your cross stitch into a um well i don't know if that's a strawberry because that's a bit longer but anyway she shows you how to you know put it all together and it is just such a lovely magazine i really i just it's one of them that you just can't put down it's it's really really lovely and there is some reads in it as well you know you can read out oh this was another one i liked I think I might have to do this one next year for my Rebecca. Tinian owls, the autumn owls. I just think they're beautiful, but there really is some lovely. Oh, this is this one. I just think this is amazing. <laughs> Look at that. I just think that's brilliant. Like that cat's face is 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 brilliant. It really is. But yeah, there's, you know, there is lots of bits and bobs in there. Some, there's one in there, a, a pattern in there as well from the um, Kitten Stitcher as well. She also has a YouTube. But yeah, honestly, I thoroughly enjoy reading, re going through that. Okay, then. Right. So that's all my finishes and all my bits and bobs. And say, so fingers crossed, my threads will come so I can actually start my new cross stitch, which I will show you the progress next week. Now I'm going to show you what I brought this morning. <laughs> Bear in mind they are all a pound, you know what I mean? It's, it's good. Right, so when it comes to the actual Patchwork Crow, because it is more, um, I know there's pumpkins on it, but it's not Halloween. See, so I didn't want it Halloween. Now I do have the fence um, trellis that I brought and I might still use that. And I got two of these which I thought I'll cut some bits off with the pliers and I can do a decoration on the top. And I got, oh yes, I got this. So I'm going to take him off. He's just been put on with, um, by the looks of it, he's been put on with a glue gun. So I should be able to get him off somehow. Um, but I know he's got tassels and everything, but I'm going to take him off. And then I'm going to put him somewhere over at the side because on the trellis, um, hold on. Yeah, so I asked Glenn to cut the legs off, which he did for me. And see, what I could do is I could put my cross stitch here and then put him standing here and then a decoration on the top. That's what I'm thinking. So I didn't really know whether to do it that way or that way and i'm thinking i do like it that way as i say the cross stitch here the little scarecrow here and then you know flowers and a um a bow and all that over the top that's what i'm thinking anyway well we'll see how that turns out <laughs> um yeah so i got that and then i thought well because he had down there he had all his halloween and his christmas bits out as well so I thought, well, next year I'm hoping to do some more, like more Halloween. I know I've done some um, autumn ones, but I would like to do some Halloween related ones to go with the autumn ones as well. So I got this headband, which is bendy, 
and I thought, well, I'll take the legs off and then I can fix that. <laughs> oh, it's a buckle. <laughs> I can fix that onto, um, so she sit like that, like out of the top of a um, chimney or something like that, or, um, oh, I don't know, a cauldron pot. Or, oh, actually, because I got this, but I'm not, I don't know about that bit, but I like the shape, you see. So I could do uh, a cross stitch there and then have the legs coming out the pumpkin. You know, arrange them like that. You know, that's what I'm thinking anyway. And I also got a packet of um, spider web and spiders so I could decorate it all around the cross stitches that I do. So that was the Halloween and the autumn stuff. And then, as I say, he had some of his Christmas stuff out. So I got um, two packets of the lovely um, washi tape. They're really, really lovely. And this little bag of wooden reindeers, because I thought that would look really smart when I decorate my um, my reindeer one. So I've got to work out how I'm going to finish that. And then oh, I think these are brilliant. I don't really know what they're for just got mini wreaths but i just think they're brilliant i think that will look really nice on the green of the um the cross stitch as well and then i got a pack of normal washi tape and there's one with butterflies on there my because they are actually my my rebecca's favorite so i just like washi tape <laughs> that's handy little stuff so yeah that was my haul this morning so I really don't know yet what I'm going to put the Christmas one on, but I, I'm thinking definitely of the trellis with this. But what I did buy as well when I was down there was these, which is those, um, let me see if I can undo one. And I thought, well, rather than obviously putting the cross stitches on the wall and stuff like that, and I have a dresser downstairs, an old dresser which one summer i'd love to take everything off it and take it out in the garden and see if i see if my rebecca could help me her and jordan her partner and sand it all down and then i'd like to either revarnish it or paint it up and then actually decorate that as my cross stitch and i thought we see these they can stand i don't know if they would actually stand on there would it? there you go see just like that so then i've got the cross stitch the scarecrow and seeing that that is and then i can just swap them over and then i'll put my christmas one on and so on so i thought these were a good idea and these were three for a pound you know packet of three so i thought you know we'll see if that works <laughs> so i'm right excited <laughs> so well anyway I, I was hoping that the postman might come while i was recording oh. Damn. <laughs> I really wanted to show you what I, my other bit. Oh, oh well. Um, at the beginning, you would see there was a clip of um, so a couple of pumpkin loaves that I've baked. And yesterday, that was on Saturday. And then yesterday, Glenn and I, we finished off because you start the night before. And we did our very first batch of um, hot cross buns. All with the, well, the hot cross buns are done with the sourdough um waste because i don't like throwing it away i always try and find something to make with it and uh, they were really really turned out nice glenn loves them he had them for um toasted as well today before he went to work so he really really likes them um so yeah that is uh, i've done baking as well what i will do is because of everything is changing here at the moment we're not going to be able to get unfortunately again to the pumpkin patch <laughs> i love going to the pumpkin patch that better not be on my screen <laughs> face of mine oh my gosh oh we really bad um anyway um yeah so um i did find some of the little pumpkins a couple of them uh down at our local Lidl and uh, yes so saturday i made with one you make two loaves so the next time because i've got another one on my windowsill so the next time i actually do it i'm thinking of recording as well i'm think that's everything but as i said i've had a busy week a lot of finishes which is really exciting so i am going to be spending the whole day up here um well i say whole day like an afternoon getting this done finished off now i've got all my bits and bobs i just knew that my my well worth a pound wouldn't let me down 
because he does have some good stuff i did get there was originally i got this um it was a big wooden like thing with a beautiful wooden witch's hat on it and i thought oh but i wouldn't use it this year and we said i don't know i wish i'd have got it now but i didn't <laughs> anyway right i have got to go i've got to go i can't harass you look guys anymore <laughs> okay then right so i am gonna love you and leave you all and i would like to say a special special hello and big big hugs to my lovely friend Ginny. and i hope that you're really really you know doing better that would be nice if you know that you are doing better and um have resting loads <laughs> okay then right so i'm going to love you and leave you all thank you ever so much for all your support and i will see you in seven days time next monday so <laughs> happy crafting take care stay safe bye okay hello i'm back come to torment you guys i was asked a lot and i've just remembered um in the questions from last week about that little blue shawl i was wearing um uh, what was it and so on i think i did talk about it in one of my videos um when i made it but i know that angie brought it for me and the yarn for my birthday last year and i think she got it from the yarn festival on one of the uh, uh, edinburgh yarn festival on one of the stands right now the actual shawl pattern i've just found it oh gosh <laughs> and it's it says got on here about getting it in on ravelry so it must be on ravelry and it's called the noel by pauline app if i show you quickly there and that is who it is and it is done in fingering white but it's a, it's a it's not a big shawl so for this time of year it's absolutely perfect and as i say here it is it is corner to corner i'm sure i started it from the corner yeah because asymmetrical is that what they call them sock weight yarn blah 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 wingspan um is 81 and a half inches but as i say it's thin it's not a deep one um let's have a look um it was easy to yeah an asymmetric triangle so um you would start at the it's a long time when i knitted it <laughs> uh yeah yeah basically you start at an end and then you work your way up and then go in again um it is say a lovely shawl the yarn that she got me that went with the shawl uh, with the pattern was a oh what's it called <sighs> it's dyed oh that's gonna annoy me now i can't put my hand there um mum, 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 mum. it's done it's a natural dye that's what it is it's a natural dye but it was lovely to work with it's lovely to wear so i thought i would just remembered before i started uploading this is the shawl it's got lace work as well as garter stitch and that's basically it lace work and garter stitch and the pico edging it is a lovely short in it it really is so give it a go and luckily i remember before i started doing my editing and stuff so i'll see you all later bye <laughs>